Welcome back to the lab. In today's video, we are going to be preparing a complex of cobalt and saline, referred to as salcamine. For the synthesis, we are going to be using 2.17 grams of cobalt 2 acetate tetrahydrate, and I just prepared this yesterday from cobalt carbonate and acetic acid, and we're also going to need 2.34 grams of saline. On top of this, we're going to need 120 mils of ethanol as our solvent and for the washings, as well as water as a solvent and washings. As you can see, I've already set up the apparatus. At the bottom, we have a 250 mil three neck round bottom flask. Attached to that, we have a 500 mil addition funnel, which you don't need something so large because we only have 15 mils, but it is my only addition funnel, so that's what I'm using. We have a reflux condenser, and that tubing leads to a bubbler and in that bubbler we're going to have mineral oil and the reason we have this bubbler is because we're going to be passing argon through this whole apparatus to flush it. So you can see down here I have my argon tank and the reason we're going to have to use argon is because as this complex is forming it is sensitive to air and will decompose unless there is an inert gas within the apparatus. However once the synthesis is completed we can freely handle it in air. So now that all of the cobalt acetate solution has been added, we will allow this to reflux for an hour while maintaining a slow stream of argon through the apparatus. One hour has elapsed and you can see the mixture has turned a very dark red color. It's not actually that dark in real life, just the camera is making it look darker. But I'll get some good photos and pictures of it later. But for now we're going to turn off the heating and allow the mixture to cool down to room temperature before disconnecting the argon stream. And I'm just going to put some cool water on the flask to help it cool down faster.
So now that I've filtered off all of the original solvent, I'm going to do three washings with distilled water and then another three washings with 95% ethanol. And now dry thoroughly on the pump. And here is the final product. You can see it's a nice brilliant red. Right now I have a light shine on it so it's brighter. It's more of a burgundy. The camera makes it quite vivid but it is a little duller in person, surprisingly. Now the final step for this would be putting it in a desiccator to fully dry out, but as it is, it's just a clumpy red powder. The final yield of the still slightly damp product is 2.4 grams.